Hey everyone, today I'm going to teach you about enums, a very simple and handy tool to let you do the same thing that strings can do, but better. So in this basic scene here, I have a little weather script and a, and a camera, don't worry, the camera's just the same color as this, I haven't actually just disabled the play window. Um, anyway, uh, on the script, uh, we have a basic class that contains a string, and then in the start, uh, function we have a switch statement which debugs what weather's what the weather's like obviously you would have other things in here if it's sunny or windy or stormy maybe the sky the sky box changes maybe uh, materials on the ground change uh, such and such however the problem comes uh, with using a string in a switch statement rather than an enum when you misspell something and especially when you have a large catalog of strings that you want to use so right here uh out of any right now coming into the project i have no idea what uh strings like i i can input um I'll, well actually i do because i've made it but uh if someone comes in and they we're editing uh co like collaboration no one will know what's uh what they can use for the weather type because uh, instead of sunny, it could say uh, clear, or instead of windy, it could just say overcast or uh, uh, or gusts or something like that. Um, but of course, uh, if I put sunny in, I only click play. Uh, it's going to play the game, and it's going to debug the weather is currently sunny. Um, however, if I misspelled uh, stormy, and I I don't know, did that instead, I kind of, oops, I put them in the wrong spot, kind of, you know, your, your fingers slip, uh, we're going to get an error, uh, because we coded that, where the type does not exist, and here we can see a default where the type does not exist, there's a very simple way to solve this, um, and I will show you it right now, so instead of using a string down below, let's make a public enum, and let's call it where the type. Let's open and close curly brackets, and then let's put in our names. Sunny, Windy, Stormy, and you know what, let's add one more, Tornado. <laughs> Why not? Up here, then, we can reference the enum by going public weather type, and let's call it weather type. Now we can input the weather type, and here we can input Sunny, Windy, or actually we can go weather type dot Sunny, weather type dot windy weather type dot stormy and weather type dot tornado cool now if we save our script and go back to unity instead of the string box we'll be presented by a drop down menu which we can select what one we want then if we select let's say stormy and go into our game it will debug the correct thing. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Really quick Unity tip that will help you. If you guys enjoyed, click the subscribe button, click the like button, and check out our Discord. Uh, we're a bunch of chill guys who just kind of talk about game development stuff and whatever else. So, anyway, see ya.